So yeah, I so thought I, mean, I was just looking for almost like a scalp for anything because of the uh, first trade. You know, I didn't really know yeah, where it was going to go. To be to be honest with you, I think it had a big move today. When you look at it, it opened at one forty eight fifty. It ran up almost to one fifty five. That was a big move. You know what I mean? And that, without the that's market, what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that too, and I, I was kind of, I hesitated a little bit to go into the second trade, only because I had been out, and I was on my way home, and it, so it was, it was wet, like it was 153.80, and I said, you know what, I'll just do a little bit and see if I can get some out of it, and I did, so. Yeah, I was happy for anything, anything then yeah. to add on to the day, but the option was great, so what did you do with that one? What did you get so filled with that, where did you get out? this morning, I, only, I took one contract, and I got out, so I, I made $330 on one option. So you quick got out? when we got out of the day trade yes i got out of both of them because you know what tomorrow's thursday tomorrow's you, you and look what the market did this afternoon just because the fed said oh you know I, I was like why is it all of a sudden it started going everything was going down i'm like what's going on and then i read that that the, i guess it was the fed meeting this afternoon or the minutes yes yeah, somebody sent me the article but then it's been yeah. again i i don't know where we're going to open tomorrow morning but it seems like every single thursday we rally so it's really i know I mean, that's it's true just, you're right. Kind of so I have I have a confession to make. I had a really rough time right before this earnings season. I was down in 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 how in my in my like how much I could trade every day, and I kind of started this earnings season. I I I identify a lot with what you've been saying in the room because of of the risk and everything. Mm -hmm. And so I've been managing my risk, and I've had a really successful earnings season. So I'm kind of back on track. So were you? did you get off track with the options or the day trades? Both, because I find that I, I have this awful habit of holding everything too long holding, when I'm up. Really? Yeah, I do. You know, like you always like, you. Know, sometimes you, you'll say it in the room, and, oh, Jackie's swinging for the fences. I, I don't swing for the fences anymore. Okay. So, so so then you've been doing this all of now the booking the profits july august or when were yes. you having i started time? july i in fact i started it i i just i threw out my old book and i started a new book on july the 13th because you were doing really good at the beginning of the year i was i was doing good up until st patrick's day okay. we had a huge option I think it was in BA. I made like three thousand dollars. I was like sailing high. I, I was like I was topped out of all. And then that month, you remember that month where that was at the, the pandemic. Yes. Yes. And, and it seemed like things that should have things that should be rallying were selling off, and things that were should be selling off were rallying. So the gap downs. So it so it messed me up too, and and it really shook my confidence. So I just said to myself, new book. New earnings season. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lower my risk. I'm gonna manage my risk. What I found that I did was, even even though I I ascertained my risk in the beginning of a trade with a stop, like say it was two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. I would do the, all the two hundred right away, so that if we got stopped out, now I was really behind the April because then now I if we happen to lose again, I now doubled my loss. Okay. So I found that what I have to have to do is, I don't put as much in at, 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 at the first go round, okay. And if it happens to go, do I don't make as much as I would have. But then again, I, I seem like I've been doing better that way. I don't lose. And then and then I can come back in on the second trade. So OK, well, then that's good. Yeah, that's working. Yeah. But I definitely think things are following through, like even the KSS. Look where that went. I mean, I got out yes. of it before it went all the way down to 1930 something. But I mean, like, but again, I. I've gotten into more of a groove of getting out of the day trades quick because I think for a while there I was wanting to hold some of them too, right. and then they were backing up. And you know yep. it's tough when you know something's going to go to a certain number, and yep. then it doesn't go there in the time that you want it to go there. Yep. And then I and then I just have to walk away and say you know what it was a really good day I made two hundred dollars today and and if you were talking about that in the room. Two hundred dollars and five days a week—that's a thousand bucks. That's a good week, yeah. you know. So I've been having a really good earnings season. Well, that's good. And so then you didn't do the Teslas because they were expensive. Right, okay. right. And I even started my op so kind of today. I kind of revamped my options. So I just did the one. I did the target. I didn't do any called yesterday. Okay. And so today I did the target, made three hundred thirty dollars, and I'm out. I'm okay. out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What about the Disney's? Did you do those? 
I did the Dis- the I Disney. I did the option. Disney. I did the Disney last week, and, and I I think I did well with that. Yep. Okay. I did well with the Disney, but, but you know, I'm all, I only take one contract. And the, the thing was before I got off track, I was starting to take two and I was trying to hold one and like get out. And I just, I just, <laughs> kind of, I just, you know, less is more. I just have to like go back to like kind of square one and I have to take the emotion out of it. Like, like in a way we're similar like that. We're like, when we're, we have emotion, we're like gung ho, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's what happened with the cues last week. You knew it was going, you knew, and then all of a sudden, boop, and something happened and it flipped. Do you remember that yeah, day? Yeah, 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 um, definitely. But the the ones now this week, even the Apple and the cues, they they were positive trades. Yes. But they, and I got out, but they weren't as much as I thought they were going to be, which is interesting. I took that Apple too, and it wasn't. I, I, you yeah, know, I kind of but it was like, positive, but I'm like, you know what? This is not going the way that I think. I'm talking about the 460s. I don't know if you were still in those. No, no, I didn't. I didn't take. I, I kind of just stepped away, and I, I just, I'm like today was my first day of like okay, and like I'm, I'm just trying to be really easy. Does it with everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've been. I knew I get out of Target today. I just hope that you know I was up 110 percent return investment. So I thought this, today's a really good place to get out, and it never looked back. So that was that was a really good way to start with the, my back with the options today. So. Well, I think that it's higher, but then again, you don't know what the market's going to do tomorrow, the numbers. Right. So if the, if the market collapses tomorrow, then Target won't move tomorrow, even though I called it out for next Friday. It's just right. too stressful then to hold something when you're up more than 100% a day or two till it goes back around, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And so even, you know, like I kind of have this plan that if I'm up, up but anywhere between fifty and a hundred dollars, I'll get out because a hundred dollars for the day is good, and I can, you know. So, so we'll see. So, so the options I'm going, but the day trades I'm very happy about so far. In the la- now, I've been I've been averaging a hundred to two hundred risk. That's okay. for my up. Uh, and so, so far this earnings season, I've made almost fourteen hundred dollars. That's great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And we still have one more week left in in, in August. Yeah, and we have some good. I, I was looking ahead, and we have some good things next week. I, a BBBY is next week. There's there's some really good one, um, good ones. So I didn't even you know, look at what was out tomorrow. I forget. Oh, I, I look. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we have Nvidia. Oh, do that's we, right. Uh, Snaps SNPS. Do we sometimes do that one? And and LB LB. I think we do. Okay. Okay, I'll look for those. And in the morning is Baba. Oh, that's the one. That's the one and that was tomorrow. Yeah, Baba, yeah. we had a good one last week. And yeah. that was a surprise. Yeah, no, I think, well, you know, reach out to me if you did. I didn't hear from you, so I assume that you've been doing good. I didn't know you had, we were holding well, things Well, I long. knew, I knew what my issue was. Yeah. I knew. I was going so hot and heavy and no far and yeah and so i i knew what my problem was. i mean it's definitely hard sometimes so when i look at that tesla which was a great push up I there know. into the one day and then when it gapped up 100 points the next day you say and i knew it was going to gap up i said it i knew it was yep. going to gap up and but you can't look back and say you're you're almost you're better off getting out with the profit because you know that you have the money than holding yes. it too long and then losing and in losing. it versus the one in 10 times that it'll do like what Tesla did, which was gap up a hundred points. So yeah. I mean, like, you know. I mean, this is the year, been the year of BA and Tesla. Now BA's kind of let us down all of a sudden, but now, now here's Tesla picking back up. Cause we were going, we were going long at Tesla in the beginning of, don't, I just remember that day trade. It was 325 and we held it all day. And I made $2,000 on a day <laughs> trade. <laughs> So I mean, you know, so you can understand we're it's so expensive now, though. Yeah, I know it is. It's, it's, I know it's gotten too expensive now to do as a day trade unless it's. Although it's going to split, so who knows what's going to happen then? I think it's still going to be expensive then, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see what it yeah. when, when it does. But BA hasn't been doing anything right, so I'm just no. I'm, I don't even look at it anymore, to be honest with you. Actually, I, I I peak every once in a while, and it's gone down to 169, and it just seems like it won't break that area. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I don't even tell me what it does until it falls. Like another <laughs> you were like that about Alta. Remember last year we did Alta? And you I were know, like, it's it was gonna... the same thing. Yeah. We're expected yeah. more out of that and it didn't work. I think it's it's interesting now that we're doing some of these with multiple strikes or they're on my watch list. Like, you can feel when it's played out. You can yes. just tell when it is. Like, we're in this Tesla now. Like, 
again, this is either going to pop up to that number or it's or it's done. Like you can right. just kind of tell like you, and you, and sometimes you do and you say I think that this has one more move in it. But if you do it three times and then three trades work and the last one fails, then you know to lay off of it, you know? Right, right. And that's the way it was with BA because we did a couple of uh, puts in BA in the last couple and it, and it didn't do anything. Yeah. So So quickly before you go, what uh what's been going on in New York there where you are? So we we're kind, we're opening the gyms on the 24th. But you have to wear a mask. Yeah, I mean, you know me, I do bar centric and that's considered a dance studio. We all have our own six feet space. You don't, as soon as you get your space, you don't have to wear a mask. Uh -huh. And I love going because I found it when I was doing it home online, I just wasn't, um, I, I would leave the room, the kids would call me. So yeah, but, but I have to also tell you something. So my, my, my second oldest son is He's got his own little account. And he's doing trades, and he doesn't want any of my help. And I oh said, you know, oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. So he told me he made a lot in the Discovery Channel because of the Shark Week. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. So you don't, you don't, you don't tell him like Target or anything. Like you didn't tell well, him. Well, I, you know, so he has the airline stocks, and I'm oh. like, well, maybe you shouldn't buy him now. He goes. Oh, they've gone up so much. So, but you know, I I could tell that my my mother always says uh, unsolicited advice is criticism. So, oh my God! Well, let him. He'll go through his. He'll take his hits, and then he'll yeah. he may ask you for advice at some point. Maybe. And I I, I actually met somebody. My nephew got married last week because I was in. Don't forget, I was in New Jersey, which uh -huh. was safe to go. And. Um, uh, so her, um, my sister-in-law's sister comes up and she goes, I hear you trade stocks, so I'm probably going to give her your name. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Where does she live in New Jersey? She lives in Cream Ridge, which is kind of, it's a, it's a very rural area in central Jersey. Okay, so it's like a yeah, farm. yeah, give her my number. What's interesting, yeah. like, I mean, I think I've been trading more this year than ever before because I'm home all the time. Yeah. You know, I, you know, calling afternoon trades, I mean, you know, everything, but it's well, like... It's funny. I, when you went out to the dentist that day, I was looking at Tesla. And uh, I remember in the morning. I remember in the morning when you said it, it, it was hitting fifteen sixty, then it was gonna go, and I'm like, oh, it hit fifteen six. I saw it too. Yeah, yeah. And I, the one day that I leave, but it's, it's tough to go out. So I really, it's better not to go out, quite frankly, it's, because going out is so bad. I know. I worry about you, but you know, I when know. you're living somewhere, it doesn't sometimes seem as bad. But but up here in Western New York, we're good. We're really good. So, so all your businesses uh, are open. Everything's normal. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have indoor dining. Uh, oh, I can go to church. We just, we just have to wear a mask. And indoor dining is you have to wear the the mask, and then once you get at your table, uh -huh. then you take it off. So, you know, um, yeah. So, so, and you know, it's it's a shame because it, we feel like, uh, you know, that that any wrong move and Cuomo was going to put the rules back on. Like it's just such a, I know I read an article yesterday. I don't know where it was on Bloomberg or some, somewhere it was posted on that. Somebody said they're, they're, they're prepping people for a second wave in New York. I said, Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. We never got out of this first nonsense. I mean, I everybody here is like trapped. I'm trapped and it, everything's trash. That's yeah, what I feel. I mean, it's, it's just bad. And I feel I mean, so bad for the business. I was just there Christmas time and thank God I was, you know, walking the streets. You, there was no room to walk on the streets, yeah. all the, the lights. And, and we lost our Lord and Taylor up here. They closed. Oh, so did they? Yeah. 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 But I'm glad I could train and I'm glad I've kind of got myself back on track. So well, you'll know, I mean, once it gets to be to the point, I think where you feel like, it's not a big deal, then you can take more risk. Right. So like if you're, if you're nervous about it, then it's too, then maybe it's not, a, if you're nervous about it, like it could take you another six months to get, to get your risk up again. But I personally don't do the get out and hold half. Like I just, I'm either all in or I'm out or I take it or I do it. I know some That's people like too. to do that. But for me, it's the same thing with the day trades. I just prefer like, because I feel like I'm, I'm thinking about it if I'm in something, if I'm if I'm t if I'm holding it, I'm thinking about it anyway. So I may as well, if whether I'm in it with half the size of a full size, like if it's on my mind and I have to look at the charter, if it's it's in my head, then I'm just in it. So once I'm out right. of it, I don't want to think about it anymore. And that's how I look right. at it. Like I'm like just done for the day. Yeah, yeah, and th and that's why I kind of I, I hesitated a little about going in for a sec uh, the sec the third trade on um, Target because I, I did. 
but because I was out, so I didn't take it exactly when you said, and that always kind of makes me a little nervous. But it really never went down to no, you stop it. No, never went it. down. Yeah, never went down. So, it's the same so that's thing. what I did. I scalped it. Yeah, it's the same thing with KSS. Like, I looked back at that then later and I saw what it did. But I it know. wasn't like I would have been more pissed if I had gotten stopped and then where we got out was the low of the day and it never broke 20. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. So it's like, you know what I mean? Yes. So it's been good. And hopefully tomorrow, you know, we'll have Baba and, you know, it'll it'll be good to us again. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, yeah. I'm glad you're doing good, Jack, and glad you're Yes, safe. thank you, Melissa. Yes. And, you know, it's kind of it's a little bit kind of embarrassing to be back in that spot. But then but then everything you were saying in the room the last two days about the size of the risk and all. And and that's and and I had to learn that. And I, I think I have learned that. I know. So. I think it's everybody goes through that period where you almost get like a little bit. I don't want to say Cop. greedy, but you feel yeah. like you can Cop. do no wrong. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think you're doing great. Hopefully Ben's yes. still your champion behind you, cheering you on. Yes, um, yes, he is. He is. He is. <laughs> All so right. thank well, you, Melissa, for tell everything. Tell him I said hi. I will, and uh, I'll see you in the room tomorrow. All right, take care. All right. Okay, bye. bye.